Welcome back. Part three, cargo cam install. I kind of cheated from the last video. I told you how I was going to do this. I was going to pull all that down. I didn't end up having to. I think they make some different lights for these, like the lower class ones or whatever have different lights. I got to put that back up yet and get it in, but I just used a, a fish wire and I fished it over to this side. Took that screw off. There's one right there. I was able to pull this out drug the wire right through very easy fished it down through like I told you guys I would uh, this is where I'm at right now fished it through here put it up around there's a little packet in there this is goes up yet so this wire is hanging down I got this let me back up here the panel under the steering column has two I think there's seven millimeter screws one there one there then this whole cover pulls off and up out and that comes off i'll show you where i'm at here i didn't want to lose you guys i took the center console this is a laramie so it has a center console um let me in the cup holder you can see where there's screws there's like six screws two one in each cup has it you take the rubber out there's a cup one under the rubber, two under the things, two up under the front rubber, and then uh, that just pulls out. Unplug the cigarette lighter, really simple. I don't want to get, most of you people that are doing this are going to have some knowledge of what you're doing here. But you have to take the entire cover off of this. Just to let you know how to do that, it's, it's really simple. If you got this little cubby here, there's a Torx screw, you can see it. It's a T15 Torx, one in there. Up on top, you're gonna have to pop the rubber out. See the little rubber that lays in there? There's two Torx in there. And this is how I do it, I've done a million of them. Then what you wanna do is put your fingers under, under right here, and pull out here, put two fingers under here, pull out here, and then you got to grab on the sides and pull out here. Let me tell you, these cup, you got to pull firm. So as long as you have the three screws that hold this whole thing together, you'll be able to pull it. They got lock clips, so you I mean you're going to be like, oh my god, that's going to break. And all of a sudden it goes pop, and it's out. So that's where I'm at. What I'm going to do now is like this is off, but what I have to do is all the controls have plugs on the back. They're just, they're all just push, push down, pull out plugs. They're all different, so you can't plug the wrong one into the wrong thing. And it's like one plug for all the buttons, one plug for this, one plug for this, and then I think one plug for your 120. I think it might be one for your trailer too. Yeah, it's separate, one for your trailer, one for the switches. Unplug, you can't pull it all the way out. You can only pull it like six inches out. So then unplug all those and there's seven millimeters, four seven millimeters on the flat screen. The flat screen stays there. You pull that out and then that's where I'll start part four.